Welcome back everyone. We are continuing the skirting project and before we do that I need to get all of the stuff that's under here out. So there's not a whole lot of stuff, just, just been kind of throwing the scrap lumber underneath here and it's been really great storage and I hope that we can keep it that way in the future but yeah I had it organized and then the goats have been able to go under here um, all the time so it's kind of a disaster they've pulled things around and it shouldn't be too bad really I mean I've got I'm just gonna start pushing everything out to the edges and then once I'm out from underneath here it'll be easier to kind of sort through and figure out what we're gonna be where we're gonna be putting everything Hello from under the house. So Katie's having fun running the mill and I'm getting ready to connect our plumbing rough, our rough plumbing to our actual um, ground plumbing. Which shouldn't be too, too difficult because everything kind of goes in the same direction. Um, but the way that it's come out with these piers, is a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna do the best I can and uh, hopefully it's pretty good. Oh, I'm procrastinating right now. Got all the tools I need, I think. Probably not all the fittings, but maybe, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. These kind of projects always seem to end up in mi me missing like one elbow or, you know, one length of pipe or whatever. But I'm gonna get as much done as I can. <sighs> but it's so nice out outside and I'm crouched under here, you know. It is what it is. I'm gonna get to it. So, <laughs> I'm going to be running plumbing, not to here, but all the way down along that girder there to another spot where the plumbing goes into the main line that goes out to the gray water pit. I'm gonna be connecting everything down line this way. And uh, yeah, it should go pretty good. I'm not a plumber. This has been the most difficult part of this process is plumbing. So we'll see how it goes. It's an easy place to get some good footage. <laughs> I didn't even get what you were doing. I'm doing it. Anyways, here's all the pipes and stuff. Pipes and stuff. Yep. Plumbing. Still. Yep. So as you can see, the plumbing's coming along. 
It's an incredibly difficult thing to film, considering I'm crawling underneath this crawl space here. But uh, I'm gonna get it connected tonight. And it's gonna work just fine. I have rented this tool. It's missing this part of it, but it should work for $27 a day. <laughs> I think that's what it was. Crazy, anyway. Um, yeah, so we are doing gas line today. We are gonna just do the rough. We're not gonna get anything installed, but we, Katie and I just made a plan of where everything is gonna go, and we're gonna try to figure out what the most efficient way to run this black iron underneath our house is. So uh, I guess without further ado, I'm gonna see how this works. I've never done this before. Um, I was told that you can use weasel pea quite well for your cutting. So I'm gonna lubricate my three quarter inch end there. And then I think what I gotta do is stick this in like this. Now, righty tighty lefty loosey, which way does this go? Can I do a reverse thread? Probably, eh? Does a gas actually reverse? No. This is the right way. So far, nothing's happened. And so once I get past that flare point, I see why people get power tools for this. <laughs> the dies are toast on this thing. On the three quarter. On the three quarter, because that's the size that everybody uses. Oops. So, and we know this because the half inch is just boom, done. Half inches. This isn't even that bad. Yeah. Threaded. Well, it's working and I mean working just fine. On the three quarter. On the three quarter. The half inch worked. I think what was the problem was I didn't push enough pressure on it right off the get go. And I lost my opportunity to get a good bite. So Katie's gonna, every five turns, Katie's gonna shoot a little bit of WD-40 in here. Just at, at that. Then give it a shot. More. Rent the electrical one if you're doing this. <laughs> well, I have to do everywhere where you have a junction. I'm gonna be beat today. Beat down. Naughty, naughty, naughty. What? I didn't take video. He Whatever. He record and he did the thing. So, I've had plumbers tell me use use Teflon tape and pipe dope. I've read on the internet only use pipe dope, and I've also heard people say they only use Teflon tape. What do you think we should do, Katie? Trust the people. Trust who? Everyone says something different. I just use both. The people in real life. Yeah, I use both. Because <laughs> if one fails, the other one's there. So yeah, I've got Teflon tape and pipe dope on my first fitting install. This goes to the, um, this goes to the range, so. Yeah. Now, you're gonna thread this. It's Katie's turn. No. Oh, hell yeah. No, I don't want to. Y-E-S-Y-O-U. What if I mess it up? You can't. I'll, do you want me to start it? <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Katie. Tough like moose. We 
wish this table is not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I don't have the strength to go that way. Oh, that's a kink in my neck for sure. What? Yep, that was right there. That was the one? Yeah. You're going to hurt your back. Whatever. My back's been hurting for years. Tell me oh. something I don't know. Oh, God. This is almost there. Oh, i got to stop doing that movement. No, it's got to go to here. You want me to do it? Yeah, I don't want you to hurt yourself. I'm, I'm stronger Great, than you. Great, I'm already hurt. Okay. You I've been hurt, hurt her. I've been hurt for 14 years. That's not. Oh. oh, I need stuff. That's why it's getting hard. No. You're fired. That is not why it's getting hard. Oh. Yeah, it is. That's way easier. That's just simple now, eh? Here. You know how to use these? You, you've used them. So, open them up. So you get in the middle there. And then just keep on going. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for that today. <laughs> So we rented a hand threader and it's getting me shredded. It's uh, if this is how they, the old boys did it back in the day, they were absolute monsters. Cause I've done about mm, maybe 10 or 12 threads so far and I am sacked. See the smoke? There we go, threaded. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a struggle. I'm gonna bend that and you're gonna have to pull it. I mean, push it and I'm gonna pull it so it goes underneath there. And then we're just gonna have to keep on fighting it. Let's go. Oh, just a second. There we go. That's where it needs to go. Yeah. Oh, but it's got to come out and go back in, right? Yeah. Okay. But is it going to snap up when I... Just a little bit, it won't be bad. Just maybe I won't. Up. Maybe I'll let go. <laughs> <laughs> there. Perfect. 
pretty spot on. Pretty spot on. Oh yeah, we're good. Keep going. We, uh... we learned today to rent a powered um, threading tool. Yeah. Because I'm sacked. Yeah. Like going into probably another 50 hour work week roofing, I am toast. Yeah. So, not to be here complaining, but this is tough work, man. Yeah, we got some good progress. We're not finished. We run out, ran out of supplies. Um, so we're just gonna have to get some more this week and then Carry on, but we got a, we got a lot done. Yeah, what's for dinner? Being as busy as we are, finding the time and energy to cook a delicious meal has completely gone out the window, and we're finding ourselves so bored with our go-to meals, and we're basically just eating to survive, just to get rid of those hunger feelings. <laughs> so today we're super excited to have partnered with HelloFresh, and they are bringing some exciting, new, delicious flavors to our plate this week. HelloFresh is a meal kit company and they have over 30 plus recipes each week to choose from, all delivered right to your door. The recipes contain fresh produce that is picked and delivered to you within a week. HelloFresh works with your schedule and plans are flexible. You can change your meal preferences, update your delivery day, and even change your address with just a few taps on the HelloFresh app. Fall season can be busy, but weeknights can be made so much easier with foolproof step-by-step -step recipes ready in around 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh is also the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaging is recyclable. The recipes include pre-portioned ingredients that mean less prep for you and less wasted food. So if you're looking for some inspiration, some new flavors to try out, uh, you can go to hellofresh.com and use our promo code OFFGRIDLIFE65 to receive 65% off plus free shipping. Big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. So tonight on the menu, we have a squash ravioli with roasted cauliflower and a creamy garlic sauce. And I cannot wait to taste this. Hello everyone. Oh, we got a few different things on the go this weekend. Uh, before we get the skirting closed up under the house, we want to get all of the plumbing and stuff kind of uh, figured out under there and assembled and hooked up and usable. So Greg is going to be under the house working on that and I'm going to be working on siding for the woodshed. So. Yeah, I figure plumbing's kind of hard to film, not that exciting to watch, so I'm gonna do some milling. Yeah, we've got the log here. We're gonna cut it down to the sizes that I need for uh, the woodshed and then start milling it up. 
Fire it up. You need hearing protection, Katie. It's charging. Oh, We're really? just doing one and then I'll... Okay. Rip it, Katie. <laughs> Here, hold on. Hold. Is that right? Double hand that thing. Are you sure? Yeah. Now try. All right, that's one log done. We've got about 13 boards, so not very much, <laughs> but I guess they are pretty wide, so we might actually get some good coverage. So another project I'm gonna slowly chip away at is I want to stack rocks along here to build up the walkway and just kind of secure it all. So I've got a bunch of rocks there that I've been just collecting whenever I go out on the on the road I will just pick up some rocks the heaviest that I can pick up so yeah I've got those I'm just gonna start stacking them and see how it's gonna kind of work out I don't really have a plan I'm just kind of winging it so see how it goes I better not see any comments about hurting my back. Cause let me tell you, my back already hurts. <laughs> it has for years, so not gonna stop me now.
Richards in there? Yes. Yes, 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 I do. I love Richards. Okay, tough girl. All right, tough girl, get it. Strong like moose. Sore like moose. Now that Greg has the plumbing finished under the house, we're going to, you dropped your s square thing. Speed square. Speed square. <laughs> we're gonna start putting the siding up and then depending on what time it is, we might go get another log from the fallen trees over in the woods to continue milling, but we'll see how far we get. Trying to keep the fur on the bottom. 